Welcome. Today, we'll be going through problem two from the 2008 Asian Pacific Maths Olympiad. Students in a class form groups, each of which contain exactly three members, such that any two distinct groups have at most one member in common. Prove that when the class size is 46, there is a set of 10 students in which no group is properly contained. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Let X be the largest set of students in which no group is properly contained and Y the set of remaining students. Hint number two. What happens if you take a student A from Y and you put that student into the set X. Hint number three. Consider a way to pair every student in Y with some students in X. Solution. Let X be the larger set of students in which no group is properly contained and Y the set of remaining students. Then the number of students in X plus the number of students in Y is equal to 46. Consider a student A in Y. Due to the maximality of X, there exist students B and C in X, such that A, B and C is a group. If not, then we could put student A into set X and X will no longer be the larger set of students in which no group is properly contained. Notice there cannot be a student B in Y, such that ABD is also a group as well as ABC, since any two groups have at most one member in common. So we compare each student in Y with a distinct pair of students in X. And this implies that the number of students in Y is less than or equal to the number of students in X, choose two. And because the number of students in Y is 46 minus the number of students in X, 46 minus the number of students in X is less than or equal to the number of students in X multiplied by the number of students in X minus one divided by two. Multiplying this by two and rearranging we find that the number of students in X squared plus the number of students in X minus 92 is greater or equal to zero. And so the number of students in X is at least 10, as if it were nine, we would get 81 plus nine minus two, which will be minus two. Hence, there exists a set of at least 10 students in which no group is properly contained. And from this, we can find 10 students to form a set in which no group is properly contained. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.